Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you to 11th Hour Games for the game key. We're going to be playing some last epoch 1.1 Harbingers of Ruin. So we are starting on the new cycle. We're going to play the rogue who I named Mistress because I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to play normal and uh, just let's get into this. This game is massively entertaining. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majossa of the desert. Lagon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies, and Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Ekera away. Without her, there was conflict, then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Raya's gaze were the Keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected, a traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Ah, the old road. I've never been this far from the slums. Okay, so it's telling us all the movements. Now we have the evade, which is really cool. I mean, I'm like probably maybe on the short list of people who have been asking for this. Because I played basically Diablo 3. I'm like, man, these why don't these games have dash or evade, dodge roll kind of things? And here we are. It doesn't take anything away from the game. If anything, it just feels more action adventure with a proper dodge button. It's debatable. You technically already had something like you already had like kind of like a dash for most players anyway. So, like another primalist, you have the you have the leap. I I it's almost kind of like their version of like the Wolverine leap from Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. In the hands of the fallen messenger, you find a letter from the Keeper's Council. It is addressed to you. Traveler, our Heroborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. As keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. We are taking the letter. I am like super excited to play this. Be kind of testing uh, a lot of the things offline with my legacy players. Oh, I forgot about that fire deal. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get in time. Uh, while we heal up, let's go look at our inventory. Uh, sure. Let's change the bow. Alright, really nothing else that we can do. Let's see if we can get some range, especially against those birds. 100% need to get the range. Alright. 
I like how she's talking shit. <laughs> Too easy. I'm like, no, no, it's not. Uh, it'd be nice if like the little minions didn't get in between us and like the big enemies because it's like I'd much rather take the big ones down first and then just kind of clear out the little ones after. Uh, Scepter. Hmm. Not really. I do like that you could play with different types of weaponry here. You're not strictly stuck in your class. Oh, there we go. I don't know why he doesn't tell me. I mean, I'm sure it's going to eventually tell us. Oh, you can press B too, because we are using gamepad. Shurukens. Not happening. Oh, God. Probably shouldn't have moved so quickly to arrows. Not until we have like several different abilities. A little over eager. <laughs> ah, this game is just so wonderful. Like something about starting in a lot of these games where you haven't you haven't been in a while. Just enjoy yourself again. Like Diablo 3, same way, man. You just started at like the old town and it's just oh memories. more updates they do this game runs a lot better the burning forest oh we got like these big scorpion plant guys Are they like attacking each other? Looks like they were attacking each other. That's actually really cool. The bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. Oh, that's rude. It's kind of like rule number one. You don't kill things from behind. Okay, there we go. I guess we just run to him now. <laughs> was there a family? Uh, everything all right? It was my mistake. They were cornered, and there were so many. Oh, those are the fleeing people. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it, and they left. It's a war. You can't save everyone. What good are we if we can't? Sorry, I just met you and it's been a long road. Tell me about it. Are you also here for the peace talks? Are you? I am. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? Oh, I forget like a lot of these earlier missions kind of like, I don't say escort, but you have a companion. Sounds good to me. I wonder which of us will take down more Ospricks. Oh, is this going to be a whole uh, Lord of the Rings thing? Come. We're going to start keeping count. Well, that's a weird voyeuristic approach to things. Come on, Gimli. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, it's very dense here. Got a short bow. I don't know if it's any better than the one we have currently. Oh, there's just so many of them. So many of them.
Yeah, like OCD with like loot and I have to grab everything. I'm probably gonna have to do a filter soon. Just so I don't have so much uh, garbage loot. I mean, everything is great now because like <laughs> you're very low level. Where do we like level two or three? But eventually we're gonna get to a point where a lot of stuff's not worth bending over for. Well, he's just not going to do anything, is he? Okay. I do like that they're attacking each other. Oh, he must have like a stun attack or something that freezes them. Yeah, looks like that's what he does. Oh, we just blasted him. Let's throw some poison. Oh, the directional thing. I forget how finicky it is. I also forgot how fast you get all your abilities. We're gonna have to reach once we start getting like more abilities like the cinder and whatnot then we'll rearrange our uh, abilities because right now it's everything is just like haphazard wherever they like they put it i prefer them in different slots like the flurry is fine where it's at i think that's what we currently have but i want the cinder shot to be in the on y because i think it's also a melee as well as a, like an arrow attack. All right, part of my OCD, not just so much loot, but it's also taking the fog of war off. Got to do this in Diablo, Grim Dawn. I mean, every ARPG. I come from the, the console side of ARPGs. Like, while well, I have a ton of them on PC, I first started playing them on console. With like Torchlight on 360 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance on console. Then Diablo 3 on console. Um, and then kind of branched out to Grim Dawn and uh, Victor Varan. Uh, Titan Quest. Path of Exile. Just, you name it. Almost pretty much everything. Played a lot of Sacred. And then also kind of dipped into other... Uh, strategy style... Isometric games like... Divinity Original Sin. And then 2 is fantastic. I am terrible at it. I'm terrible. I have like paralysis when it comes to decisions in video games because you want to make the right decision and and I am terrible at making the decisions. Oh god, we are slow to react. Oh, we got them low here. Taking a lot of health off of them. Here we go. We got them. They're done. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. Okay. See you in a bit. Uh, we're pretty much here anyway. Honestly, I think we've gotten everything. Yeah, we've covered everything. The keepers have proven difficult to track, but my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last, save for meager signs of the Keeper's presence. Alright, let's go in. The Keeper's camp. Alright, we finished our first quest. 
and the burning forest and like the old road and kind of like your prologue ish tutorial area where you're kind of like learning the game. This is your first uh, hub that you deal with where you kind of get all your little quests and whatnot. But thank you to Eleventh Hour Games for the game key. This was Last Epoch, uh, version 1.1, Harbingers of Ruin. And we're going to play a lot more of this. This is a very fun game. This is just a lot of detail here. Wish you could interact with a lot more than you can. Because it is just asking for a lot of attention here. But anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.